Well, you know, most of the smartphones that we look at these days come from places like Korea or Japan. Well, today we're taking a look at a phone that comes from France. This is from a company called Alcatel, and this is their Idol 4. If you haven't heard of Alcatel, they're a telecommunication company out of France making inroads into North America. And the Idol 4 is one of the second phones I know I have personally looked at, and it's a good mid-range phone for that person that wants to enter the smartphone market, mm -hmm. or maybe just needs a replacement phone for the next year or two. Well, they obviously shave off some of the features here and there in order to get to a price point of around $300. But for that price point, as I mentioned right away, the design on this thing is beautiful. If you take a look at it, it's ultra thin. It's a 5.2 inch screen that's on it as well. It's quite a beautiful screen, but I just love the overall design. And if you take a look at the back there, I mean, it's just beautiful. When you pick up the phone, it is incredibly light. Only mm -hmm. weighs 135 grams. In fact, I thought the battery was missing, mm -hmm. but it's non-removable battery, so you know it's already built in. And it's one of the things I did notice, however, is that when it was running for a long time, it got pretty warm on the back of my hand, and I didn't know if that was part and parcel of it being thin and also having this like glass back to it as well. That's right. Uh, it can get hot, but a lot of other smartphones do, especially if you put it as a mobile hotspot. Um, but one really interesting feature has to be this boom button that they put on the side, right in the middle in the center there. Yeah, I mean, it, it's borderline a little bit gimmicky, but the idea is, is that whether you're listening to music or you're in different applications, you literally press the boom button and it enhances the sound. Now this thing, this phone has 3.6 watt speakers in it, so without even putting a headset into it, it actually has really good sound. But as Andy mentions, you hit this little boom button here and it takes it up a notch. Interesting feature, the boom button is programmable. So if you want to use it for other purposes, maybe you just want it to you know, press it to automatically get the camera to boom. open. Boom, boom, it's gonna open. <laughs> so I like the features that you can customize it because if you don't want to use it just for the sound because to me and, and I think to yourself, mm -hmm. it just sounds like it was just making go louder. The processor is no slouch either. It's got the Snapdragon 617 octa-core processor. And it only comes with uh, two gigs of RAM, mm. which is decent enough for you to do the day-to-day -day kind of stuff, but you definitely don't want to be multitasking. I'd like with... to see four on my phone. Well, yeah, these days, you know, four is about the new two, I would yeah. say. <laughs> 16 gig of onboard memory, but again, you can expand that up uh, from there as well. 13 megapixel on the back and 8 megapixel on the front. Speaking of the front facing camera, it is a wide angle lens, so if you like to take selfies with your friends. Or if it, you're a little larger. <laughs> what they call them ussies when you're <laughs> taking with multiple people. Uh, this is a really good phone. Again, it is a budget friendly phone. Going to retail for about $300, so if you're you know, looking for a replacement phone or just want to get your first smartphone, the Acatel Idol 4 is, might be right for you. Should we make an ussie? <laughs>